Hey there, it's Eugene Member, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So the last time we saw this Malabar spinach, it was small, but now you can see it's getting bigger and starting to cover the terrace. And right over here we have our tomatoes, which I've tried to save, but as you can see like this one, they're already dying out. It's like they've been infected by a fungus or something. That heavy rain did a toll on them. So I tried to stake these other ones over here. I found some uh, some some rails and some sticks and I started to stake them. I've kept them upright and let's see if, if they can survive. I've removed most of the dying leaves like this one here you just snap it. So I'm trying to remove the infected leaves and see if, it, if they can make a comeback. So we have some fruit on them but they are very small. They are not growing big. But let's see if they can recover. Maybe we'll have a decent yield. So we have one here which ripened a little bit quicker. And I think it was because it was stung by some insect. You see this red one over here? It has like a black spot. So it was stung and it started ripening, ripening up. The same with this other one here, it has a spot. So we'll just see what will happen with them, and then we'll harvest whatever we have. So we have this other one here, the Malabar spinach. They're growing well. As you can see, they've become very big. And we have a, a store away here. I planted a cabbage. I wanted it to kind of grow a little bit and then transplant it, but I'll just leave it here. And it can grow with the other Malabar spinach. And right over here, we have our spinach, the sack that we made. So as you can see the skuma wiki, most of them have taken root. But the lower ones are, are dying out because the water isn't getting up to the bottom. So something we can do about that, when we make another one, I'll put a, a PVC pipe like this one. So we're going to put this pipe in the middle of the sack and then drill holes at the end so that you can get the water down. That way you can save water and can be more efficient. So we are going to harvest this spinach today. As you can see, they are very big. So we'll harvest them. And on this other container, we have our garlic. I don't know if it's time for them to mature, but they seem to be drying up. So I'll just let them dry up a little bit. Then I'll dig up one and see if it's ready. And here we have uh, two cabbages that I've just transplanted. And on this other side we have our basil which has been it's been doing well so i've been collecting these seeds as you can see these ones are dry just collecting these pods and then we have seeds in them which i'll save for planting in the next time let me see if you can get the seeds so there are tiny black seeds inside these pods like this one here which is, i don't know if you can see that one so that is the basil seed. And right here we have our other skumawikis. Still growing. And right here we have our sweet peppers. So all of them have started producing fruit. And over here we have our Thai chilies, which have also produced some peppers. So these two are going to be the Thai chilies. Then we have our salad crops. I've tried to make a shade for them because it's still too hot for them. So right here we have our lettuce. So I've made like a little shade for them just to shade them from the extreme sun. And over here we have our other spinach, which we still have to harvest. You see those, those ones over here being sunburnt. That's why they're changing color. And these are the onions that we transplanted two weeks ago. So they are becoming bigger. So now let's harvest the spinach from our sack. You just hold one leaf, then you twist from the base, then you pluck it, then you have the spinach. So we're going to harvest the big leaves. That will make the other ones grow. It will give the other plants space. You just twist and pull. So 
so what you can do is not take all the leaves you can leave like the small ones these two and that's it and let's go to this other one you twist and you pull leaves you're going to put them in our compost tea which I'm going to show you in a minute so let's even take this one so the bigger the container the bigger the plants get because the roots tend to get deeper so if you can see these spinach are bigger than those ones in the smaller containers because the roots have a bigger space to explore. That's why these ones are bigger than those other ones in the small container. So you can see from only three three or four, one, two, three, only four, then you get all of this, that's a nice seal for small sap, so these lower leaves, we are going to put them in a compost pile, this one is still small. so let me just show you the compost tea that I use on my plants. So we have this one over here. So any of these old leaves I just put them in there. I put eggshells, chicken manure, kitchen scraps, everything. And this is what I use to water the veggies. So this is a nice organic fertilizer. You don't need anything else if you have this. So you just cover them and let them decompose and you have your compost tea. So now let's have this other small spinach. So you can see this was a planted even earlier than those ones over there but because they are confined in this small container they cannot get past this they are crowded of which they are still nice. So you just harvest small space you can utilize with this one. So we are going to have a vegan Christmas today. So this is all for today. Can we like our YouTube channel? Like and subscribe. Thank you.